Entering its 35th year, the Donaghy Scholars Program at UA Little Rock continues to push students towards excellence, both academically and socially. It's hard to get accepted into the program and even more tough to excel. Gary Burton Jr. tells us about the reward and lessons that students receive that sets them up for success. UA Little Rock has some amazing students on campus, including those a part of the Donaghy Scholars Program. We want people who are ambitious, to be perfectly honest, who want to go and do something and make a difference in the world. Dr. Simon Hawkins is the director of this honors program, offering full-ride scholarships to students accepted. Sophomore chemistry major Joyce Childers is one of them. I didn't think I could get in because I saw, like, everybody who was here, I thought they were, like, super smart. I mean, yes, you need good grades, but... They really look for students who aren't just smart, but also think outside the box. The program has an innovative curriculum that replaces a general education course with their own set of demanding courses that students take twice a semester. Those courses are focused on research, discussions, projects, and writing. Classes are difficult, but I feel like I've learned so much more from them than I have other ones just because of the fact that they are discussion-based. Whatever you're going to do in life, you need to be able to gather information, come to some kind of conclusion about it, and then convince other people of your conclusions. But not just convince people here on campus. We also require study abroad, which we fund. Students need to go out and engage with the world. Students typically finish this program by their third year, but they still receive mentoring and guidance from the department even after finishing. If interested, Dr. Hawkins wants you to know. We sometimes have students who were told by people in their lives, you're not good enough for this. Uh, this is not for people like us. Yes, it is. You can do this. Please apply. Dr. Hawking says data gathering on the program's alumni show that 15% have PhDs, 10% are medical doctors, and 10% are attorneys.